Have you seen all those ads online where guys with big fluffy beards are pitching full face respirators? Do you need gas masks? Don't do that. Beards interfere with the seal of your respirator so you won't get full protection. You already know intuitively if you want an airtight seal, you don't put a bunch of hair in between the two sealing surfaces. The same is true of respirators. Even stubble can compromise the seal of your respirator by making a gap in between the sealing surfaces. Now, you can try to compress that down, but there will still be gaps that gases and particles can get through. Now, don't be mistaken, you can get some protection even with a beard. And some protection is sometimes better than none, but it's not the protection you're paying for when you get a respirator. So if you want that full protection, you need smooth skin or a technique to get around the issue. One of the techniques is to cover your beard with an elastic sheet. Pretty awesome looking, right? Okay, maybe, maybe not. But it does work to improve the seal. So if you cannot shave off your beard for some reason, this is a method that can work with a negative pressure respirator. But there's an alternative you might like better. This bad boy is a fan-powered respirator. It is a NIOSH-approved Papper HE, and it works great with beards, even if the beard is in the neck seal. I've tested it multiple times with the fake beard, and it works with real beards too. To put this on, just turn the fan on, hold the seal open with your fingers, and put it over your head. This fan-powered respirator only filters particles. There are more expensive ones that can filter gases, but it also needs to be charged, which is not necessarily the best for prepping. So for that, you'll probably want a regular respirator or gas mask, and also uh, keep some scissors and a razor so that you can shave off your beard if you need the best seal for the best protection.